G'day, Glenn Morris here from the Smart Energy Lab, popping up again with another unboxing. Well, I've got a big box here today. Uh, this is a Solentec Grid Connect Inverter. This is their 25 kilowatt three phase unit. Um, it's been sitting actually in my dock for a while uh, because it was uh, uh, left over from the last uh, last uh, conference all energy I think last year and they kindly said oh you can hang on to that and uh, show the show the punters what's in the box now 25 kilowatts I remember long enough ago that um, a three kilowatt inverter weighs 49 kilos now that's going back quite a way a grid tie inverter 49 kilos this is a 25 kilowatt inverter and uh, <laughs> Looking at the data sheet for it, it weighs 24 kilos. So, wow, uh, nearly 10 times the power and half the weight. We've come a long way with efficiency. In fact, the efficiency of this unit, uh, maximum efficiency is 98.6%. Oh, that's insane. Uh, Euro efficiency is 98.2. I feel sorry for uh, all those engineers trying to get the efficiency up because they're running out of room. They've already got just a bit over 1% to go now. So what have we got in the box? A, uh, presumably, a mounting bracket. Wow, it's kind of tiny. Um, and that, I bet that's a security attachment on the side there. So, little mounting bracket. And oh, some high density foam. Ooh. And a little box, let's put that aside. High density foam. Oh. And there it is, there's the inverter. Now. I'll get all the little boxes out first. Some gel. Absorb moisture. And let's get this out of the box. Whoa. Now this was a display unit at a conference, so it's got a lot of branding on it. Um, <laughs> there we go. Um, so, let's get back into it. One of our special numbers on here. Now, um, as you can probably see around the front here, we've got all our connections. And uh, let me just spin it around. So we've got a um, integrated DC isolator, which is, which is always a good thing to have it really reduces cost uh, significantly. And uh, <laughs> let's have a look there, there we go. So we've got a, um, an integrated DC isolator uh, that uh, if it's lockable in the off position, this doesn't look like it's lockable, but that's often a localized um, uh, variant. So they put a locking uh, switch on it. That can be used as the DC isolator in Australia if it complies with our requirements of lockable in the off position, marked on and off, and load braking. Frankly, it's a whole lot better than putting another box with a questionable device that you may or may not have correctly rated right next to it to do the same thing. Now it's got, this is a larger unit, the 25 kilowatt unit has uh, three MPPT inputs, uh, each of the Smaller inputs are 20 amp um, short circuit current rated, 16 amp operating current for those two, so that's two MPPTs. The third MPPT is actually capable of having two parallel strings, uh, 40 amps of short circuit current, uh, and uh, double that uh, in terms of operating current. So the operating current is 30 amps. I made a slight error there, sorry, 15 amps operating, 30 amps short circuit on the first two inputs, and 30 amps operating with a 40 amp short circuit rating. Now, why do you need to worry about that short circuit rating? So in Australia, we require under 5033, our PV array standard, that you allow a 1.25 times safety margin on top of the PV array's short circuit current rating. So um, if you use that as a reciprocal of uh, 1.25 times, you multiply your short circuit rating of the input by 0.8, and that'll bring you down to 16 amps. So the maximum short circuit rating of a panel that can be connected to this is uh, 16 amps. Now, um, the smaller inputs are rated to uh, uh, 20 amps each uh, for short circuit and operating 15. The other ports we have on this unit is a COM port, 
uh, no doubt for devices such as DRM, um, and we've got a, a, a dongle, I suspect. Now, just about every inverter these days comes with a dongle. Let me just turn this around. There we go. So, a dongle. There it is. All right. Wow, that's an interesting one. What have we got there? Oh, this is a an Ethernet dongle. Now, quite often the dongles can be Wi-Fi, sometimes uh, 4G. In this case, uh, it's got a, a RJ45 uh, a port on the end of it. So that means we can connect this to a wired Ethernet uh, somewhere around here. Don't know if I can even feel it, but yeah, it'll be tucked in behind here. If I can undo it. There we go. Look at that. So there's our dongle. I think I've got that right. And it's got a locking screw to lock it on. Okay, so that's the, the dongle for communication. Uh, and in here we've got our uh, PV connectors. We've got our communication port, probably for things like an upstream meter and our AC connector uh, for connecting the AC to the system and some wall mounting screws. I wonder what's in the last box. Let's have a look. And in the last box we have, ah, <laughs> another dongle. This is the, the Wi-Fi dongle. So uh, wired dongle or Wi-Fi, you can choose. That's pretty cool. So. Now I've got it um, unboxed. Let's just talk a bit about the feature set of this unit. Um, that is a little bracket at the back there. Let's have a look how that goes on. So as you can see, here's our little bracket. And the clips under here. So it gives you a little bit of slack and there'll be a security screw on the side here. Okay. Wow. Now, uh, running through the specs, as I said before, this is the 25 kilowatt unit, and it's got a very low startup voltage of 180 volts. So pretty much uh, first thing in the morning, uh, this thing will be up and running. Um, it will have a maximum DC input of 1100 volts and a uh, ideal or most efficient rated point, which they call the rated DC input of 620. Often that's kind of like your target for VMP under operating conditions. Um, the operating range 160 to 950, that's the kind of MPPT tracking range. So very broad and three MPPTs, as I said, um, two singles and a, a double input MPPT. The maximum rated power is 25 kilowatts or 25 kVA. Uh, and we've got uh, a very high maximum efficiency of 98.6. Now, there's a whole bunch of protection built into inverters these days. Once upon a time, you did the wrong thing, you blew it up. These days, they try to make them as idiot proof as possible. And so we're looking at things like DC reverse polarity protection is integrated. So if you somehow wire your array the wrong way around, it's not gonna blow it up. Um, also insulation protection, surge protection, over temperature protection, residue current protection, uh, islanding protection. So if the uh, grid fails or the frequency uh, rises too high or too low, it uh, disconnects. Both AC over voltage, um, overload and short circuit protection. Jeez, I don't know what I can do to this thing to, to damage it apart from drop it off a cliff or something. It's pretty indestructible. It does um, have a small fan. This large unit has a small fan. I noticed that the smaller ones are naturally convected, but um, once you get up to um, over about, I think the, what is it now? Over the 12, 10 kilowatt unit, they have a small fan. And um, it's got a display. Now the display is pretty simple. It's just got a little uh, single bar in the front here, which is kind of pulses. It, and it sort of gives you information about whether it's generating, it's got a um, little LED backlit um, symbol of a power pole, which tells you whether the grid's available or not. And there's a comms link light as well. There's a communicating uh, with a, an upstream meter. It also has an OLED display, and you can actually program it from the button on the front. Now, 
there's a whole range of opinions. Should you have a screen? Should you not have a screen? If you know the argument is screens can fail, um, particularly if they're in direct sunlight and you can't use them anymore, or if you don't have a screen, you've got to rely on an app on your phone to do everything. Well, this kind of gives you the best of both worlds. It has a screen, it's very small, but that button, it's a real button by the way, it goes click click, it can be used to program the unit, a combination of short and long pushes. So you can program it from the front, you can program it from an app, and it will give you some very basic information on that little OLED display. So um, I suspect it being so small, um, it's probably quite well shaded in there anyway and will last a long time. So um, there you go, the Solentech 25 kilowatt grid tie inverter. Now, I'm pretty excited by Solentech. I've actually been to their factory in China, uh, learned a lot about what they've done. Uh, their R&D department is like almost half their staff. They're really into R&D. And this is um, their grid tie inverter, but their hybrid inverters, which I'll be doing a video on soon, um, I've recently installed one here at the Smart Energy Lab, are really impressive. They do some massive hybrid inverters uh, for CNI applications. So that's something to look forward to. Anyway, thanks for watching. Check it.